Tractor Bird Dog's just coming overhead uh, this time at 3,000 feet to let uh, Hell Attack 1, he's going to be at 3,500, just call us a five back. Roger, 273, check 18 back. Okay, guys, we're just coming overhead here at this time. Uh, we've got uh, H1, like I said before, he's at uh, 3.5 above us. Bird Dog's overhead at 3,000. We're going to try to scoot down here and get a uh, quick inspection run in. Uh, we're going to be working the west flank, guys, so it'll be basically a downwind, uh, downwind run, and you can, uh, first drop can be from the road. Uh, that's all, Roger, uh, Gary, and uh, we're just going to come out of uh, 3,000 here for a low level uh, inspection run. Okay. okay, right, we can go low level. Uh, confirm 56. And 56, bird dog 4, confirm you're well clear of the fire now. And Hell Attack 1, you can check uh, dog 4 is out of uh, 3,000 low level. Uh, we're going to go on the west side there, Pat. We'll come around once more, right? Okay. And the bird dog's climbing from uh, 1.5, we're going back to 3,000, guys, we'll call you level 3,000. And 273, target elevation will be 1450. Okay, check your 11 back, we're just going through 2,000 on our way to 3. And there's good water here, 11 back, so we'll uh, pick up here later on, on the next uh, load of mic. Excellent, thanks, Gary. Yeah, it's uh, Emo Pumper 1, uh, it's uh, Deputy Chief here. I'm just wondering uh, how things look from the air and uh, what we should be doing. I'm worried about the house that's uh, right on the north side of this block. Hell Attack 1, it's South 4, go ahead, Dave. Yes, Happy, we're having a little bit of flare up on the, uh, on the north uh, side there on the east. 73, check your up. Okay, guys, it'll be same line. And I'll get you to uh, one, uh, just as you're going over the road, guys, uh, we'll get one put in there, it's really boiling up. Okay.
you don't have to put any people at the actual uh, structure during the exposure to the flame front so you can leave the sprinklers running for 8, 10, 12 hours with, with nobody there and come back and, and the, uh, the dwellings are still intact. The fire has gone past the, uh, the buildings and, and the, the forest is burnt around it but all the, all the structures that have had sprinklers attached to them are still intact. Yep, it needs some water. If it weren't for the sprinklers, when the building is exposed to the flame front, the radiant heat and the embers are both going to cause so much damage that the structure wouldn't have a chance. This plan is uh, a good setup here because it's got a metal roof and it's got uh, fairly defendable grounds and uh, a good water supply then chances are like 95% we're going to save the structure. See, the nice thing about this one is they got them right up in the peaks. The higher the better. That's Actually, that's the secret. The mixing site is down to the southwest of the burn location. Uh, Travis Northcott and Arlen Hakla are the mixers. Uh, Al O'Connor is the ignition tech.